Hey, you guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Chanel. So glad to have you here today on my reaction and commentary channel, the channel where we watch movies together because we're friends and I'll let you know what's going on in my brain as I'm watching these movies. As I'm watching these movies, I like to call out filmmaker elements because I love film. So I'm really interested in lighting choice, sound design, acting, cinematography. That time they hired a really cute dog. I don't know. Today's movie is The Gladiator from the year 2000, which makes me think of the Jonas Brothers song, Year 3000, where it goes, I've been to the year 3000. You don't need to know that. You didn't even need me to sing it. I just wanted to. Today's movie is Gladiator. My comprehension is notoriously poor. I get distracted very easily. So I hope that this narrative really holds my attention. Russell Crowe. Oh, it's a Ridley Scott movie? Yay! Okay, never mind. This is gonna be good. <laughs> Love Ridley Scott. Um, Ridley did one of my favorite movies ever, which is Thelma and Louise. Oh my god, Joaquin Phoenix. He is a favorite of mine. Russell Crowe, Joaquin Phoenix, Connie Nielsen, Oliver Reed, oh, Richard Harris. Huh. I don't know anything about this story. I think Russell Crowe is gonna go be a gladiator, and that sounds gory and scary, so I feel like there's gonna be blood and guts, which I love. Ooh, I love flooding guts. Yeah, this might be set in some history that I'm not super familiar with, Roman stuff. I'm just excited, get me to Rome. Get me to Rome. I mean, it's gonna be beautiful. Before we continue on today's watch, I am so excited to announce that today's video is sponsored by Babbel. Woo, another new sponsor on the channel. You guys, you guys. I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm like Italian. I'm Italian. I took Italian when I was in middle school all the way up through high school and I got through exit level in college. And then as soon as I got through exit level, I said ciao to Italian. I said goodbye. No one is sadder than my poor grandparents about that fact. But worry no more, Nana and P-pop. <laughs> I am so excited to announce that Babbel is sponsoring today's video because that means that I've gotten back into Italian, friends. I am getting right back into a morning routine. I'm waking up early. I am reading my book and I am doing 10 minutes on Babbel, learning Italian. File that along with self-improvement 2022, Shan. So far, the most shocking thing about Babbel is the fact that there are actual phrases that you would use in your everyday life. It's not like the dog ran fast. <laughs> Filippo doesn't drink alcohol anymore. Sorry, Filippo. With Babbel, the lessons aren't created by robots. They're not created by AI. They are created by real language learning professionals. And let me tell you, you can tell. Right now I'm working on the verbs bere or fare. Bere means to drink, fare means to do. So it's kind of just my job to fill in these sentences. What are you all plural drinking? Cosa beve, bevete? Cosa fate qui da soli? Cosa bevete? Continue. Cosa fai? Stasera cosa fai? <laughs> Can you imagine starting yourself, like starting your day off with these kind of wins? Like, I feel like I'm playing the game that I can't lose. I have been able to set a weekly goal of five activities. So doing one a day for 10 minutes every morning gets me to my five a week. Like I said, it's part of the self-improvement summer of Shan. So hit that link in my description box below. Give Babbel a try. It is 65% off of a subscription. And don't worry if you hate it, there is a 20 day money back guarantee. And I think it takes what, like three weeks, 20, 21 days, Days to form a habit. So I really think you should download Babbel with me, get your 65% off. So without further ado, let's get right into today's watch, which is Gladiator from the year 2000. Rated R. Just a rated R girl. This font. Not papyrus but reminiscent of papyrus. <laughs> 180 AD. I don't remember when the Romans fell. Is this Rossi boy's hand? Must be. Did you ever think Gladiator would open so artistically? I didn't. I thought we might open on this, this close up that you're seeing. Uh, no, we opened on tall grass. <laughs> Are we calling that wheat? Maybe it's wheat. Aha! 
He's the general. We opened on some really warm color in the in that field. And um, here we've got some really cool tones. Okay, that's that's a headless horseman. People should know when they're conquered. I got the urge to write that down. That might be a theme of this. People should know when they're conquered. This is a production, friends. Like, wow, wow, wow. Look at all these extras. So many. So many people. This soundtrack, though, wow. It, um, don't kill me. It sounds like Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> it's my only frame of reference. We'll have to look up who did the music. You guys on Patreon, let me know if you like when a movie opens on a battle. Sometimes I hate it because I can't follow it. Other times I like it. And here's one of the times I like it. Do you think he's really dying? He's been dying for 10 years. If you weren't really dark, you wouldn't have sent for us. Oh my gosh, Joaquin's so young. I love this role for Joaquin Phoenix. I feel like I'm not used to this version of him. Let us hope for the last time. There's no one left to fight, sir. There is always someone left to fight. How can I reward? Ro is this some um, Richard Harris, Richard Griffiths, the original Dumbledore, Richard? For the glory of Rome. Well, Mr. Caesar Sr. looks very old. And I don't know why I thought he wouldn't have made it to that old, but I guess when you're royalty, maybe you would. No one's earned it more. Don't get too comfortable. I might call him for long. I don't trust Caesar Jr. Tell me about your home. Caesar is like... Confusing me. He's reconciling with his legacy. He wants to go down not knowing he wasn't the man of war. Like, come on, Seas. There is one more duty that I ask of you before you go home. Okay. I'm all ears, buddy. I want you to become the protector of Rome after I die. I will empower you to give power back to the people of Rome and end the corruption that has crippled it. Because he doesn't want it. Yikes, I don't want this job. Commodus is not a moral man. You have known that since you were young. Can he take the power from his heir and give it to Maximus? Whisper to them I live only to hold them again. Ancestors I Oh yay. I'm happy to see them. I appreciate that. That's like filmmaker y touch like show me them so we can clock them i don't know if he gets to go home i don't think maximus gets to go home he is going to snap when he finds out what his dad asked oh i think the opening frames of this movie was maximus at the farm in his home you will not be in his emperor. home that's what i think <gasps> you will not be emperor. he's gonna kill maximus my decision disappoints you. Mm hmm. What if it's like the song of my heart for a thousand years? What is this enemy you hate so much? This is some great acting, you guys. This is really good. It's so alive. Wow. Comedy. I think in less skilled hands, this is melodrama. This is terrible, but this is Your this is deep. As a son this is, is awesome. My failure. As a father. Him too? Oh, oh my god. Oh, and the music is getting so intense. Does he kill him? Does he kill him? Is he gonna kill him? Why am I so scared? It's the music. Do you as only love me? <laughs> Suffocate him. Yikes! Really freaking Scott giving us the family drama of it all. Also, who wrote this? Maybe Ridley had a touch on it. 
Our great father is dead. Something smells a little fishy in here. You think she knows what he did? Maybe. The emperor has been slain. The emperor died of natural causes. Mmm, slain. Right until dawn, and then execute him. Well, just look at me. Look at me! Promise me that you will look after my family. Your family will meet you in the afterlife. But, like, when does he become a gladiator, though? He got me. I was like, he's about to die. That's it. <laughs> it's like, that's the end of, that's the end of Gladiator. Russell Crowe's about to die. Oh no. He's gotta get there. Oh no, Maximus. No, there's no way he's not making it. Um, this becomes a revenge movie, doesn't it? It's a revenge party. Party that ends with somebody's head on a spike. That's Revenge Party from Mean Girls the Musical. No. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Chills everywhere. That is how you assign stakes. Zuckabar, Roman province. No one knows how decorated Maximus is. They think he's a deserter. Sort of love this. Spaniard. Oh, does he show them what he can do or not? <sighs> Yikes. He can't show, he can't show them how good he is, right? Uh. Respect, respect. I would have done the same. You really don't want to show all your cards. Uh. I was just tripping out on like the idea that this was entertainment. Uh. Oh my God, right away. Uh. Okay, so I see him using his shield. Uh. This is intense for me. This is an oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Good teamwork, friends. Winner. He looks rotten. Oh yeah, Lucius. Do you think you have to be born with an evil face to play evil, or do you think? Joaquin is just like emanating evil. Like he just looks rotten to the core, doesn't he? He's the hero, nothing to lose. But once he gets to the Coliseum, they're gonna recognize him, right? I surrender. I can't. The young emperor has arranged a series of spectacles to commemorate his father, Marcus Aurelius. Uh oh. They're finally going back to where we belong, the Colosseum. I want to see that. I want to see the Colosseum so bad. I wasn't the best because I killed quickly. I was the best because the crowd loved me. Oh, be a showman. Uh, the greatest showman. And you'll win your freedom. I will give them something they've never seen before. My wife is preparing food. Hmm. He has a family too. My wife and my son are already waiting for me. We'll meet them again. So sad. I think I'm so okay with what he has to do and the audience by extension is so okay with what he has to do because we saw his backstory. We met his, well, we sort of saw his wife and kid. We saw what happened to them and it kind of puts us a on his team, but B it sort of forgives absolutely everything he has to do. This is epic. 
and I don't feel the runtime at all. I didn't know men could build such things. Win the crowd. Inside. Move. I'm like, perform a song. <laughs> That's how you win the crowd. Give me a tap dance. Oh, I hate this man, but I love Joaquin Phoenix. He's gonna kill this boy. Will you stay with me? Still afraid of the dog. <laughs> oh, God. He's in love with his sister? Ugh. Oh. God, thank God. I was like, that's the kind of movie we're about to watch? Damn. Damn, damn. Oh, why don't you go down to the prison and round up all the- Eyebrows, hello. Does he know? No way. I have to go. Your name is Lucius? Lucius Ferris. After my father. Oh no. Oh no, he's gonna be found out. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. Look at that. F close up on the faces. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Ah, oh, yes. Disguise. Good. Hmm. I'm trying to guess if maybe they built a smaller scale coliseum with some forced perspective. They at least built this ground floor of the Coliseum. We stay together, we survive. What are they gonna be? Lions? Yo, oh my God. Ah, how are they doing this with horses? Gladiators win. I think I'll meet him. Yes, sir. Perfectly according to plan. Does he recognize him? You do have a name. My name is Gladiator. How dare you show your back to me? Slave! Will you remove your helmet and tell me your name? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the north. Loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius. Father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance. Little bitch. <laughs> Call off your brother, girl. Come on, Caesar, fight. Kill him. Kill him. I don't know what that means. They like honor him or something, like honor that he's the best. Whoa, I didn't think this reveal would come with like 45 minutes left in the movie. I thought this reveal would be sort of left for the end. I now wonder, where do we go from here? Gladiator has to kill the emperor, I say. I just thought that I would love an outfit like this. It seems really comfortable. It's like a dress, like a t-shirt, you know, t-shirt dress. This man served real well. Mm -hmm. That man is gone. Yeah, killed. Well. Killed when they took his family. Guys. You must kill your name before he kills you. Kill your name before he kills you. With an historical final match. Um, the guy with all the cuts on his face, was that Buddy from the service? Do you know, do you remember him? Yeah, that guy. They embrace him like he's one of their own. He'll be forgotten in a month. Much sooner than that. He's an evil little motherfucker, but he's got a great looking headband. Good, nice headband, it's pretty. Okay, they got a tiger. This looks like a real tiger too, fam. This looks like a um, real movie tiger. Pop. 
public disobedience. Oh sh! He's f- Maximus the Merciful. Court of public opinion. Wow. You take life when you have to, as I do. I have only one more life to take. Take it now. Do it. Do it. Kill him. They tell me your son squealed like a girl when they nailed him to the cross. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh and my your God. wife moaned like a whore when they ravaged her again and again. Kill him. Again. Kill him. Time for honoring yourself will soon be at an end. Highness. It's his buddy. <laughs> things. Mm, I didn't want to get sad. <sighs> That's all he has left. My boy, I tell him I'll see him again soon. To keep his heels down when he's riding his horse. To my wife. Can't think about it. Can't think about it, Shaw. Can't think about it. Don't business. think about it. <laughs> oh, it's not your business. <laughs> and now they love Maximus for his mercy. Oh, nice, man. So I can't just... Sister, I'm old, friend. I thought I'd seen you for the last time. I thought you were dead. I need you to do something for us. Back! And I serve the General Maximus. I serve him still. General sends word he will meet your politician. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you, my lady. Yes, that's what we need. Meet the politician. Meet the senator. I hope my coming here today is evidence enough that you can trust me. Let my men see me alive and you shall see where their loyalties lie. Once all of Rome is yours, you'll just give it back to the people. Tell me why. That's what Marcus Aurelius wanted. That was the last wish of a dying man. I will trust you. But we have little time. <laughs> you still We'll alive. kill the king. And I have only you to chat with. Mm, don't start appealing to my emotions now. But he is in love with his sister. So she's got a real powerful position. Oh my god, no. No. <gasps> she has no choice but to go along with this. Oh, he is coming undone. Congratulations, General. You've got very persuasive friends. Okay. My brothers had Gracchus arrested. We don't wait any longer. Your servant, Cicero, will be waiting there with horses. Mm. You have done all this. You have nothing to pay for. You love your son. You didn't do anything, babe. Because my father loved you. Mm. Little boy never got any love. I loved you. This is a movie about childhood trauma. As are most movies. Is this going to be our one gladiator kiss? Yeah. Wow. We got one. Not a legionnaire. I'm a gladiator. Oof. A gladiator? Yikes. Gladiators only fight in the games. Maximus, the savior of Rome! <laughs> oh no. Savior of Rome. <laughs> oh freaking no. Where's Lucius? He's with the Emperor, my lady. Oh god. Not a good spot for Lucius. Are those closest to him? Slow zoom in. Slow zoom in. Important. Intense. He knew he was busy with so evil. Dun, 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 dun. This sounds like Pirates of the Caribbean. This has got to be the same guy, imagine? That would be cool. I don't know how much money I would put on it. $20 to each and every one of you. I don't have that kind of money. He dies. Shut his nose. For his idol, the old emperor. This movie has a lot of heart to it, guys. Oh, everyone's dying for him. Maximus! 
Oh my God, it's a trap. Commodus ordered the trap. It is done. Do we think it's done? I don't know. Should I be messed up? I, I hate him so much. How much do you hate this guy? You want to just like punch him? Commodus the merciful. Ugh. Go get a brush. Go get a comb. <sighs> Oh my god, Joaquin Phoenix is really doing his job. Like, I hate him so much. Am I not merciful? You're an asshole. Stupid bitch. <laughs> so mad. Ah, oh, they captured him. You got my daddy's love. I hate you. Smile for me now, Papa. How fitting that we're gonna end this movie. It's one-handed fighting him and they can tell. Kill him. I'm like, kill him, murder him. I wish I saw this in theaters. Oh, that would've been so cool. Oh my God. Cheater, cheater. Make him stab himself. That's pretty powerful. For your father. You're a bad egg, mother. For Does he get to live after that? Does he get away with that? Guys. Free my men. Senator Gracchus is to be reinstated. There was a dream that was Rome. It shall be realized. These are the wishes of Marcus Aurelius. Free the prisoners, go! Whew, it's a real happy ending for Gladiator. But the color did get taken from his world. <laughs> Wait, I thought he was gonna survive. <laughs> the Gladiator has to die. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> he just wanted his wife and his kid and he, he got to go to them. This is so sad. <sighs> he was a soldier of Rome. <laughs> Honor him. Oh my God, I want to see this man get back to his family, but it's not his movie. <laughs> it's so sad. I will see you again, but not yet. Oh, I love it. It's full circle. <laughs> At least he gets to be with his family. <laughs> this was a really sad movie. Why didn't anybody tell me? <laughs> about it too much it's really sad <laughs> Hans Zimmer and Lisa Gerard Hans Zimmer I'm gonna cut and go cry you know for your sake this much longer because <laughs> all their families are dead <laughs> huh. gladiator from the year 2000 wow I really really like this movie holy whoa uh, I kind of suspected that with a runtime of two hours, 30 something minutes, um, a Ridley Scott film, and it is this what renowned and everyone I've talked to about it, like is obsessed with it and loves this movie. I kind of figured that I wouldn't feel the runtime and I was correct. I was absolutely drawn in all of the scenes I was like leaning into, I couldn't look away. Masterclass in acting for sure. Joaquin Phoenix, um, yeah, Russell Crowe. Richard Harris, especially in those early scenes, just crackling with life and energy. And I do stand by what I said earlier. I think in less skilled hands, less skilled actors, this is melodrama. And with the right actors giving it the right stakes, this is magic, magic in a bottle. I happen to love Ridley Scott. I love his visuals. I love his choices. This felt epic, that score. We found out it was Hans Zimmer. Well, I found out it was Hans Zimmer on the credits. 
just the most epic movie alive. I love a revenge plot like this. It immediately endears me to our leading man. You know, you might find yourself having more of an issue with the killing or how gruesome some of it is, but as soon as we attach those stakes to it, they crucified his wife and kid, I'm like, let's go. Start slaughtering now. Like, I'm just, I couldn't be more on board. And I did mention during my watch, but in case it doesn't make it, I will say this again. There's a movie called The Nightingale. Similarly as gruesome, not, doesn't have like the showmanship of Gladiator, but um, it's a woman whose family gets massacred and then she goes on a revenge plot. And it's really, really gruesome and really, really good. I would have been just fine spending money on this movie. It's that good. But I need to see who scored Pirate. Pirates of the Caribbean won Hans Zimmer, music editor, music programmer, score producer, soundtrack producer. I knew it! It had the mark of Hans Zimmer. Joaquin Phoenix ad-libbed his scream of, am I not merciful? Connie Nielsen wasn't expecting it. And her frightened reactions genuine, genuine, yeah, Joaquin killed it. Oh my God, wait, I really felt like Russell Crowe was seeing this kitchen. Maximus's description of his home, specifically how the kitchen is arranged and smells in the morning and at night, was ad-libbed. It's a description of Russell Crowe's own home in Australia. I felt like it was really real. Okay, maybe this was real. Although Commodus was initially favored by the Roman people, he lost that status through dramatic acts of megalomania. He's often considered the initiator of the fall of Rome. Eventually the citizens and the Sedan had enough of his rule. He was poisoned and when he vomited out the poison, he was strangled. Oh no. A veterinarian was armed with tranquilizer darts and present the entire time of the scene's shooting. For safety's sake, Roscoe Crow was kept at least 15 feet away from the tigers. How did they shoot that? Joaquin Phoenix was so nervous on set, he asked Russell Crowe to rough him up before their big scene together to psych Phoenix up. Crowe was at a loss. He went to Richard Harris for advice. Mate, what are we gonna do with this kid? He's asking me to abuse him before takes. He said, Harris replied, let's get him pissed, drunk. Over the course of several hours and several pints of Guinness, Crow and Harris relaxed their co-star. <laughs> oh my God, I did get Game of Thrones, like nods in this. Just like some of the themes of like the incest and whatever. It says Jack Gleason modeled his character, Joffrey Barentheon in Game of Thrones after Emperor Commodus. So Joffrey took notes. A central part of this movie's main battle theme was reused nearly identically in the famous score of Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Yes. Oh my god. I would, I'm singing it in my head right now. Editor Pietro Scalia added the shot of Maximus moving through the wheat field to the beginning of the movie. It had been filmed for the ending. Pretty, like I said, I would not expect the movie to open that way. Crowd scenes in the Coliseum used real life extras, digital extras, and 400 cardboard cutouts for spectators. Um, I mentioned it before, well, I mentioned a bunch on the channel. I was an extra in the movie It's Complicated with Meryl Streep, and I'm in the, um, you can't see me. I'm in the graduation scene, and I was just a body that then they could then take that crowd and paste it all over the graduation, all over the field. So, done a lot. They just CGI and copy and paste, sort of. Um, and I've been a part of it. Oh my God, well, looking at the dailies, Ridley Scott noticed Joaquin Phoenix was gaining weight. Scott spoke to the line producer about it, who then went to Phoenix and told him, Ridley says you're fat. The next day, Phoenix in full armor came to Scott and said, I hear I look like the little fat hamster. I thought it was the right thing to do. I'm the emperor of Rome. Why would I not look a little more de fat, deboshed? Phoenix then didn't eat for weeks. <laughs> Oh yeah, I did want to know about the canopy. Various historians have tried to find proof that the awning in the Coliseum really was used as a cooling system. Coins and other images of the amphitheater have been found showing a canopy system. In May 1998, a few scientists on PBS's Nova series constructed two different canopy systems on an ancient amphitheater. One of those designs appears to be the inspiration for the canopy system of this movie. Budget, 103 million estimated. Sounds about right. Okay, so there was Kind of what I suspected, a partial replica of the Colosseum was built in 1999 for Gladiator. So you have seen my reaction to Gladiator, so now I want to hear from you. Where were you the first time you saw Gladiator? Did you see it in theaters? What did you think? Did it blow your mind? Did that two and a half hours just fly by for you like it flew by for me? You know the spiel by now. So if you want more from me, Patreon information in the description box below. Otherwise, support the channel, description box below. I'd like to say thank you to Babbel for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to hit that link in my description box below. Sign up, learn Italian with me. And of course, as always, I'm gonna go eat, cause I'm starving.